Hello, in this session I'll talk about configuring security group for SP HANA 1 instance running on Amazon Web Services. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. Our goal is to make a connection from SAP HANA Studio to the SAP HANA 1 database. We already have HANA Studio and HANA Client installed on the client machine which is Windows uh, PC and SAP HANA 1 database is running on a Linux virtual machine on M Amazon Web Services. Before we proceed further, you need to understand that when we create an instance on Amazon Web Services, instance is a virtual machine, a security group is tied to that instance. The system will create one security group automatically for you by the same name as the machine name or if you like you can also create your own security group and attach to that machine. So when we created SAP HANA 1 instance one security group was created for us and attached to that machine. Now the question is what is security group and what does it do? A security group as the name suggests controls the security of the traffic that is going from external machines into this virtual machine. And in our case, we will be making a connection from SAP HANA Studio, so ports have to be opened, the required ports. We'll talk about that in a bit. So the security group dictates whether the traffic can go into this virtual machine from outside this machine on those ports or not. In order for SAP HANA Studio to make a connection with the HANA 1 database, following ports must be open. 3XX15. What is XX? XX is the instance number. There could be multiple databases running on one machine. Instance number in this case is the instance of the database, not the instance of the virtual machine. Because at Amazon Web Services context, instance is virtual machine. With the context of SAP HANA, instance is the database. Okay. So this is basically a database number which SAP refers to as instance number. We only have one database running on this virtual machine, so in our case this is going to be 00. zero. So 30015, 50013, 50014, these are the ports that must be open for the traffic to go through between Studio and the database. The security group controls the traffic coming in from outside world into the machine. So that's why when we used HDBSQL tool in one of the past videos, we did not have to make any changes to the security group. This tool also made a connection to SAP HANA 1 database using the port 30015. So this is my EC2 control panel. I have one virtual machine running which is hosting SAP HANA 1 database. If I scroll to the right, you will note that the security group that is attached to this instance is also called SAP HANA 1. And I need to go into the security group and make sure it has all the ports open that I need for my SAP HANA Studio to make connection to the SAP HANA 1 database. On the left hand side on the control panel I see the security groups under network and security. If I click on that this opens up the page displaying security groups. I have one security group from uh, the beginning is called default but when I created the instance for SAP HANA 1, another security group was created for me by the same name. I'm going to click on that security group and at the bottom I see some properties and I see two tabs, details and inbound. I need to go into the inbound tab and here you can see all the ports that are open. So in this section you can see port 22 is open which is used by SSH, port 80 is open which is used by the HTTP, the browser protocol and we have HTTPS port opened as well, 443. But we do not have all the three ports that are required by SCP HANA Studio opened here. So that means the connection will fail and that is one thing. Second, we did make a connection to the database through HDB SQL tool which was running on Linux. It did not require any of these settings because it was running on the same server where the database is running and this is the setting or firewall setting to check the traffic that is coming from outside into this machine. So let's add 
some new ports we want to open 30015 okay 00 is the instance number okay there could be multiple instances of SAP HANA running on the same machine 00 is the first one 01 would be the second one so on so we only have one instance running so that's why three instance number which is 00 and 15 this port has to be opened and the source is 0 meaning any computer can make connection to this computer using this port. If you want to be specific, then you must specify the source computer's IP address. This is not a production environment, so for this purpose, I'm fine with zero, meaning any computer can make connection. So I'm going to click on Add Rule, and another port that I want to open is 5, instance number, which is 00 and 13. Again, any computer can make connection click on add rule and the third one is 5 instance number and 14 50014 and click on add rule now these ports are opened now I can make connection from SAP HANA studio to the database running on this machine on which we have opened port for incoming connection from outside the machine from within the machine of course the settings doesn't matter Okay, so now I'm happy with my new settings. I'm going to save them by clicking on Apply Rule Changes button at the bottom. Now my settings have been saved.